So first I'm going to say a few words about our technique, uh, which is called harmonic motion imaging for focused ultrasound. Uh, it's a technique that uh, assesses tissue mechanical properties by estimating displacement induced by periodic acoustic uh, radiation force. So uh, basically we have a focused ultrasound uh, transducer that generates an amplitude modulated signal, uh, which uh, results in oscillation inside the tissue. And this displacement is then tracked by the imaging probe uh, confocally aligned with the transducer. Um, this technique has been applied for both for imaging of the viscoelastic properties of the tissue and when coupled with IFU, it can also provide real-time monitoring of the treatment. Uh, the advantages of this technique, uh, so the first one is that you can do uh, simultaneously the tissue ablation and the monitoring without interrupting the, the treatment. And uh, secondly, you can use the, uh, the harmonic motion imaging to localize your focal spot. Uh, so the, in this study, the different parameters that are going to be used are summed up in this table. Uh, the focus ultrasound transducer is a 93 element array at 4.5 megahertz uh, with the frequency of uh, modulation of 25 hertz. Um, and the imaging probe uh, is at 7.8 megahertz uh, to provide uh, enough resolution for mouse uh, imaging. So um, to understand the technique, first I'm going to say a few words about the imaging uh, modality of this, uh, of this technique, so HMI, harmonic motion, motion imaging. Here I represented the force uh, as a function of time. This uh, force uh, results in this uh, alternative oscillation, so uh, uh, away and towards the, the transducer. And we take the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude of this displacement, which provides us information on the mechanical uh, uh, specificity of the tissue. So the higher the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude, the softer the tissue. Um, for uh, focused ultrasound, uh, we do the same thing but for a longer period of time. And uh, this uh, force uh, applied for a longer period of time results in uh, increase in temperature, as you can see here uh, in an experiment that we've done in a canine liver. We get a temperature increase uh, during the sonication and then uh, decreased when we uh, turn off the sonication and we, reach, we can reach a temperature up to uh, over 90 degrees in uh, 100, uh, about 100 seconds in the liver. Um, and this, we can also use the, the oscillation during uh, the treatment to get to the peak-to-peak uh, -peak amplitude that I told you about. Uh, and as you can see in the same liver experiment, we get uh, the displacement that goes down uh, with, the, with the temperature, meaning that we have a stiffening of the tissue and uh, an ablation, a successful ablation. Um, so we applied the technique to a mouse model of pancreatic cancer called KPC, uh, which uh, presents very similar uh, features as the pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma in Newman. Um, and the main one that uh, interests us is that it presents a very dense uh, stroma and a very uh, high stiffness. Uh, which is uh, nice to uh, image it and to detect, to detect it with our technique. So we used our technique to monitor uh, the HMI food treatment in, a, in the, this model. And uh, so this is a case that I wanted to show you. Um, and so just to let you know, uh, you have the spleen here with the sitting on top of the kidney. Uh, the pancreas, part of the pancreas is normal and is shown here in the very uh, hyperacogenic um, uh, uh, features. The tumor is sitting just below it and then you have a shadowing on the left due to intestine. Uh, so here I'll show you the variation of the displacement uh, along the time. So what I've done is that I subtracted the displacement uh, measured at each time, uh, so minus the, the, the displacement at the baseline uh, at uh, t equals zero. So the movie should, yeah. So as you can see, uh, the displacement goes down and uh, is in the negative values after about 30 seconds and keeps on decreasing uh, till the end of the treatment. And uh, so if you look at the mean value of the displacement uh, variation, uh, you see that it decreases a long time, uh, 
uh, and uh, we reach in this particular case a 58% uh, reduction compared to the baseline value. Uh, this has been uh, uh, correlated with the pathology and histology. Uh, so here you can see the spleen that was, if you remember, sitting also on top of the, of the or was linked with the, with the pancreas. The number of pancreas and the tumor below it. And uh, on the histology, so the tumor is uh, highlighted with the dash, dash line, and we have a really nice uh, disrupted uh, tissue region and another region here where we think uh, thermal damage uh, happened due to heat diffusion. Uh, as a conclusion, uh, we saw that uh, HMI foo can provide in vivo displacement, displacement maps for pancreatic cancer assessment. It can also monitor the effects of IFU uh, in terms of uh, mechanical properties during the sonication, and it can also help to detect the lesion formation. And the future application that we want to go into is uh, so look at the long term effects of uh, IFU. Uh, on the tumor mechanical properties and uh, use uh, this technique on resected human pancreatic tumors. Uh, I would like to thank my lab members and our fundings. Uh, thank you very much. Questions? No. Yeah, and I, I actually have a really quick question. Could you go back to slide five? Um, I was just wondering how you were treating um, that particular tumor. What's, oh. What does your focus look like? The next slide. The next it, slide. You know, the, the image that you showed in the movie that you showed, it made it look like you treated the entire tumor with with one exposure. Were you were you scanning, or how did you actually no, treat so, that? No, so, yeah. In this case, the, the focal is fixed inside the tumor, at the very center of the tumor. Mm -hmm. And then the display, oops, sorry. The displacement uh, goes down in the in the whole tumor due to heat propagation and diffusion, okay. but it's a, it's a it's a, f a fixed focal for this experiment. Okay, and does does this finding surprise you, given the fact that these tumors are so fibrotic? Or in, I didn't actually look at your histology that carefully, but was this particular tumor that fibrotic? Because one would think that the, your displacement would potentially be not as significant in in a highly fibrotic tumor. So actually, yes, look like your tumor is that fibrotic. Yes. Yeah, so a uh, tumor that is that fibrotic is going to have, to begin with, a lower displacement, but we're still able to see the variation of the, of the displacement due to the treatment, and that's, that's, what, we, that's what we want. Uh, it's true that uh, with tumors particularly stiff, we may have problems to detect the variation, but in this particular case, we were able to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you.